exciting day to you, my ever enthusiastic grade 6 learners. You and I with Teacher Shadai. Come and join me as we explore your favorite classroom on TV together. This is the English Hour right here on DepEd TV. Ready thinking for what's up and coming. Hello readers! As we progress in our study about the author and how to analyze stories, it's important that we cover one of the five elements that make up a story. The setting. In this lesson, we will dig deeper into this element and learn to provide specific details from a story. Stories happen in all sorts of settings. The setting of a story tells where and when the events in the story happen. Kids, shall we kick off this lesson with a very short activity? Direct your attention to the picture flashed on the screen. Where is the location of this picture? When? What is the time of the day in this picture? Are you ready to tell me your answers? Okay then, here we go! The answer for the where or the place is at the beach. The answer for when or the time of the day is at night time. Here's picture number two. Where is the location of this picture? When? Or, what is the time of the day in this picture? The answer for the where or the place is the bedroom or in the house. The answer for the when or the time of the day is in the morning. Did you answer correctly? No worries, we still have the last picture. Where is the location of this picture? When? Or what is the time of the day in this picture? The answer for the where or the place is at the farm. The answer for the when or the time of the day is in the afternoon. How is your score? Well, don't you worry, because Teacher Shaddai got your back. Kids, in the activity, you were able to identify the place and time the pictures conveyed. You gave us the setting of the pictures. The setting of a story also includes a few elements. The first element of a setting is the place where the story happens. It can be real or imaginary. Real settings could be in a classroom, a playground, in your bedroom, on a boat, or on a plane in the sky. Imaginary settings could be in a kingdom or in a far, far away place. The second element is the time frame of the events in the story, which may not always be stated in the story. Sometimes you can guess the time through clues and hints that are in the story. It can sometimes be more specific, such as during the summer, during a holiday like Christmas, or even during a basketball game. When you go to bed, it is usually nighttime. When you eat breakfast, it is in the morning. The time in a setting can also mean a time period or a moment in history that a story takes place in. It can be classified as general such as in the past, in the present, or in the future. If you are telling a story about something that happened to you, the story usually takes place in the past. For example, if you broke your arm last year, the story you tell people about how you broke your arm takes place in the past. When we tell stories of famous people in history, the setting is always in the past. Do we have stories that use the future tense? 
Of course we do! An example of a story that will use the future tense would be a science fiction story about living in an interstellar planetary community in the year 2025. Kids, did you understand our lesson? Let's try this activity. Directions. Read each sentence and identify when and where the story takes place. Number one. Maggie went to the gym after school to play volleyball with her friends. Where? Gym. When? After school. Number two. In 1950, my Lola went to Manila to stay with her friend. Where? Manila. When? In 1950. Number three. This afternoon, I went to the market to buy vegetables and fruits. Where? Market. When? This afternoon. Number four. The farmer always checks on his pigs every morning in the pig pen. Where? Pig pen. When? Every morning. Number five. The moon was shining brightly as the hungry dog slowly crept toward the chicken coop. Where? Chicken coop. When? Night. Number six. My family is driving to the beach tomorrow. Where? Beach. When? Tomorrow. Number seven. I'm at my best friend's house doing my homework right now. Where? Best friend's house. When? Now. Number eight. Maya likes to watch cartoons in our house on Saturday mornings. Where? Our house. When? Saturday morning. Number nine. Jessen sings at the church every Sunday. Where? Church. When? Every Sunday. Number 10. The farmer milks the cows in the shed every morning. Where? Shed. When? Every morning. Kids, did you get the perfect score? Awesome! Oops! What time is it? Kids, it's time for a quick recall. There are a few important things we need to remember. Number one, the setting can be thought of as two parts. One is the where or the physical location of the story. And time, that could mean the time of the day as in morning, afternoon, evening, or the moment in history, or a general time period such as the present, future, and past time frames. Number two, analyzing the setting of a story is an important skill to develop for it helps readers visualize where the characters live in the stories and gives the readers a head start in understanding the plot and making predictions about the events in the story. Kids, it's now time to check your skills in analyzing the setting of a story. Get your pen and paper ready, your ears and eyes steady. Let's start to learn, learn, and learn. Directions. From the clues flashed on the screen, choose the setting each text conveys. Number one, Mrs. Santos got her marker. She wrote on the board. She turned around and checked on the sick patient. What is the setting? 
clues. A school, a church, a hospital, a house. Answer, a hospital. Number two, the children played in the water. The waves were crashing. The dolphin jumped. What is the setting? Clues. The lake, the ocean, the pond, the river. Answer, the ocean. Number three, Maria looked around the store. She saw chocolate and glazed and sprinkled baked goodies. What is the setting? Clues. A house, a candy box, a bakery, a school. Answer, a bakery. Number four. Ayana sat on the grass and painted a picture of what she saw. She painted cows, pigs, and chickens. What is the setting? Clues. A zoo, a hospital, a farm, a school. Answer, a farm. Number five. Kena dug in the sand. She built a sand castle. When she finished, she left the backyard and walked inside to wash her hands. What is the most likely setting for this scene? Clues. A zoo, the house, a farm, a school. Answer, the house. Number six. Maya put the worm on the hook. Dan threw the line into the water. They sat on the bank. What is the setting? Clues. A river, a pool, an aquarium, a house. Answer, a river. Number seven, Tia climbed the rocks. The rocks were high and jagged. She used a rope and gear to hold on. What is the setting? Clues. A tree, a slide, a rooftop, a mountain. Answer, a mountain. Number eight, we bought popcorn. Then we walked down the aisle to our seat. The lights went out. What is the setting? Clues. The theater, the sala, the kitchen, the store. Answer, the theater. Number nine. My sister picked up the bat and the ball. She walked onto the court. What is the setting? Clues. A basketball court, a soccer field, a softball field, a tennis court. Answer, a softball field. Number 10. The sun was bright and the breeze was warm. In the distance, there was the pleasant noise of children laughing, playing on the swing, slides, and monkey bars. Clues. A house, a park, a hospital, a market. Answer. A park. Kids, how are you doing so far? I hope you're all doing great. Gear up with what you have learned as we're about to accomplish exciting activities together. Ready for the last activity? Got your pens and paper. Let's go! Directions. Complete the following situations with the correct time or place. Choose from the given set of options. Number one. As the night ended, 
the sun splashed across Casey's bed. It was a beautiful blank. Casey opened his eyes slowly. The first thing he saw was the beautiful blue ribbon on his bookshelf. Answer, morning. Number two, Jenny ran as fast as she could down the slippery blank. There were trees in front of her, trees behind her, and trees on both sides. While the rain was falling heavily in the valley, only a few drops of rain, water, made it to the ground around her. Answer, path or road. Number three, Oscar thought it was time to get a breath of air. So he began to make his way to the surface of the water. Before he reached it, a large shadow of a fish came toward him. Was it a shark? He thought of his parents who were also enjoying their ride on a small blank. Would this be the end of his vacation? Answer, boat or banka. Number four, Kwamba, the lion cub, rolled around near her mother's feet. It was starting to get dark. Her mother would be leaving soon to start to hunt because she could only do that at blank. Kwamba hoped her mother would get a goat. It was her favorite dinner. Answer, night. Number five, Margaret had not done her homework. She hated math. Math, as far as she was concerned, was the world's biggest waste of time. That was a fine attitude when she was having her after-school snack, or playing with her friends, or watching movies all evening. But now, she sat squirming in her seat praying that Mr. Santos wouldn't ask her to go to the blank to solve a problem. She dropped her eyes to her desk as the teacher's eyes swept the classroom looking for a victim. Answer, board or blackboard. Number six, Franny was alarmed. She couldn't find her library books. She looked in her cabinet, in her school bag, and under her blank. And the wall, but no books revealed themselves. She stood with her hands on her hips and stared out the window. Now what? Answer? bed. Number seven, Mark was afraid of heights and he wasn't too sure-footed, but he was unable to resist a dare, which was how he had found himself here, in big trouble. After to look either up or down, he felt above his head for the next branch, but there was nothing. He felt around for his next foothold, but everything felt so weak and flimsy. He had to be near the top of the blank. There was nowhere else to go. Answer, tree. Kids, how was the activity? Well, I hope you all did great because I believe in you. Remember, you have made it this far because you're willing to learn, learn, and learn. Today, we just got to understand and analyze the setting of a story, passage, or selection. Yes, we all did! Believe together we can! 
This has been another day of thinking, doing, and learning right here in your favorite classroom on TV, The English Hour. This has been your teacher, Shadai, saying, learn English today and your dreams are just a word away. Keep it right here on Deped TV. Ready thinking for what's up and coming. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, if you missed something in our lessons, you can check our videos on our official YouTube channel, Deped TV. See you there!